Oh, man. GS has done it again. They have made another banner. Banner Summoners, ladies and gentlemen. And it is now the legendary ninja banner. That's what I'm going to call it because it's pretty much the legendary KOB banner from back in the day. But now it's with the ninjas and all the ninjas are on it. This banner features every single ninja currently in the game. And I don't think there is any more ninjas being added. I don't think there was like a part two or a season two, you know, to the ninja saga. Pretty lame, I'm not going to lie, especially that ending. Kind of weak. So like I said, of course, this banner features all the ninjas. I don't know if the fox girl will actually be on here, though. Fox demon chick, you know her. I forgot her name. Tamane or whatever. She she probably won't be on here because she's not really a ninja. I think for GS specifically, a ninja classifies as a third eye unit. If a unit doesn't have third eye, I don't think they'll be on the banner. So of course, you know, that means everybody's on. Genzo, Mizuki, Kisaragi, Saku, Shuri, Amane, I think that's her name, Shiki. So should you sub it? This banner is way different from the Legendary Knights of Blood banner. Legendary Knights of Blood banner was so good that it was just an instant sub. It was literally one of the best banners in the game because it had all the Blood Knights. You literally had Vox, Burr, Wick and Thetis on the same banner, they were only like, what, four or five featured units. Like, it was insane. But however, with the Legendary Ninja banner, it's different because the Legendary Ninja banner isn't that great. It's not the same thing because the units didn't really define the meta like how Vox, Berwick, and Thetis did. And it's more so that most of the ninjas are kind of just luxury units or units with very niche uses or you more than likely you have someone else that you can use. Like, for example, Kisaragi, you can use Lion instead. That's her name. The fire chick that buffs up attack. I mean, I give you nowhere near as strong as an attack buff but lion also gives you a five star support slot and actually i think two five star support slots kisaraga doesn't even have one so that's huge genjo's the unit that ignores defense but then you have oh god is his name Doki. i think Doki's the one that does it Doki gives you aoe defense ignore for the whole team so it's like well you don't really need genjo because you can use Doki and you can do the same thing but give it to everybody yeah mizuki which mizuki i feel like is one of the ones that you can't really get a unit that does what she does because she's just an absolute fire killer but outside of that everything else that she can do like damage wise you can probably find someone else to do it shuri is one of the strongest hardest hitting units in the entire game but even then you don't have to use her you don't need her for anything she just does deeps and she's fun to use so she gets a lot of bonus points from me but you know it is what it is so taking that into consideration none of these units are necessarily needed the only one that i would say is possibly needed is mizuki because mizuki is good against you know ignis and ifrit mines and stuff like that but apart from that like you can even use other units it's not like it's the be all end all you need a mizuki type of situation whenever you look at this banner i think you really have to ask yourself do you want mizuki and shuri and if you do then i think summon if you don't really want any of the ninjas you can easily skip this banner or if you're somebody who just wants one ninja you don't care who it is then you can summon on this banner because all of them are on it and you're not really going for anybody specific i think the problem is is that once you're trying to go for somebody specific on this banner you may get cucked because having seven ninjas on one banner is cool but it hurts because you're looking for that specific ninja granted with most of the banners it's about what like seven to eight featured units anyway but it's the same thing you know if you're looking for that specific unit you could get cucked so should you summon i think if you're missing all the ninjas and you just want one of them going ahead if you're a collector though and you're missing one of the ninjas you know going ahead if you missed them the first time whatever the case may have been try to get the ninjas now if you are well then you know maybe well on this banner if you're missing one of the ninjas or if you want a specific one you know go crazy but my honest opinion though i feel like most people should just skip because like i said it's not like any of the ninjas are necessarily needed for anything they're not really essential units and the only one that could be technically essential is mizuki so there you go honest opinion on the legendary ninjas banner if you summon on it i wish you luck crazy to me that they're actually doing this too because literally there's so much stuff coming out in the game but keep in mind you know you may not want to go too crazy because of course the queen's banner is coming out soon next collab will be coming out pretty soon as well i think we have like a month left of rise the shield hero hero fest destiny is also coming out so if you're missing gerald you may want to summon on that and not even summon on the ninjas so really you know think about this before you summon because i don't want you guys wasting your crystals and wind up getting a unit that isn't going to benefit you as much as someone else would but guys gonna be it for the video thank you all for coming out it's been your boy p don't forget to like comment subscribe for more and last but not least man don't forget to drink